Here we have then another example on dislodging column. Uh, say the mixture of methanol water and phenol is uh, with 4530 kilogram per hour is to be separated in a radifrag uh, separating column and using the NRTL RK property meter. And the fee composition is uh, the methanol is 0 0.6 and water is 0 0.39 and phenol is 0 0.01 and the fee conditions the temperature is 65 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1.7 bar and the number of stages is 10 and the reflect ratio is uh, a, a 0 0.8 and condensing pressure 1.1 and Condenser type is total and the distillate rate is 2720 and the pressure drop in the stage is uh, 2. Uh, so uh, the feed stage is 6 and also uh, obtaining the 99.6 mass purity of the methanol varying the refrigeration and also create the design specification blocks. Okay, so so our objective is to calculate so to find the number of stages, the actual number of stages, and also the condenser and the reboiler, reboiler duty, and the reflex ratio when 99% mass purity of methanol is reached, and uh, finally to find the uh, Methanol fluoride in the bottom uh, of the distillation. So, so we can also calculate the top product and the distillate uh, product rate. And uh, let's continue our process uh, doing on the Aspen Plus. So let's start new. It's up to me. I can choose the blank simulation or I can choose whatever I want. And so our components are, uh, let me see. So our components are methanol, water, and phenol. And let's feed these three components. told to use the property meter uh, in R and And our tilt R key. So is the property meter and you can click on the next button. Let's continue. Let's go to the simulation area and Columns and then the red frag. So we have the one feed, one stream, and here we have the 
So there's the top product, we expected the bottom product and let's uh, give the the input floor it the composition and uh, so we are told that uh, temperature is in terms of degrees Celsius that is 65 uh, degrees Celsius and also and the pressure is uh, so 1.7 bar and the flow rate is given in terms of mass you can see in terms of mass for 4330 uh, so it's uh, 400 uh, 407000 and so the composition for water is 0.6 uh, for the water it's a 0.6 and for methanol uh, is for methanol it's a 0.6 and for water is 0.39 and for the phenol 0 0.01 uh, so the total amount is you can see it's a one. So I can click the next button. Uh, for the number of stage, uh, we are told that the number of stage is uh, ten. I can take the number of stage is ten, and the condenser type is the total, and the refractive ratio is zero point eight and here the discharge rate is given uh, so here is total and, and this one is 0 0.8 and check 17 17 and total ok So the fit is uh, being fit at the sixth stage and top is at the one and and stage one and the bottom product is expected at the stage ten because we are counting the uh, stage from top to bottom. So the pressure just click on the pressure and uh, the condenser pressure is we are given that the condenser pressure is 1.1 1 .1 bar uh, so which is 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1 bar and the stage pressure drop is uh, season water which is you can see the pressure drop in water so you can select two and you can okay uh, let's continue so we can click the next button this is the required input is complete so now I can run the process So let's see. Let me click on the slashing column and let's go to the and we can see the top stage performance and then of the condenser. You can see the temperature is around 67 something and also the heat duty is uh, you can see in terms of glue per hour and 
and uh, the reflex rate is here it's calculated and the reflex ratio is also uh, so we can see So the other thing we can check uh, for is the uh, the reboiler and the hot performance and we can, you have the heat duty, the temperature and also uh, the bottom ray is here we have uh, this bottom ray and also so the other thing we can check uh, we can see is we can check the balance mm -hmm. so let me go to the profile so we can see at each and every stage uh, at the end every stage we can see uh, the temperature, the pressure, the heat duty and also the liquid uh, uh, so you can see in terms of uh, mass phases and in terms of mole phase so we can see everything uh, on the profile so we can see also the composition, the phenol composition and the water composition, the methanol composition. At the stage one, you can see there is higher amount of the uh, phenol and also the methanol and very small amount of phenol and very small amount of water. And also at the bottom, you can see there is higher amount of water and also this. A uh, small amount of methanol and small amount. This small amount of actual secret small amount. Of. So you can see the top product at the top, uh, the higher amount of the uh, methanol. Uh, so we can also plot the temperature graph using the composition, or it can. You can plot the the composition graph. So you can use uh, the more the the base. You can select the more. Then I can select the water and the tunnel phenol, so that I can select the, this button. Then I can see the mole fraction of the water and each component uh, just can easily see. And the other thing I can uh, go to the main flow sheet or I can here I can select the stream result. We have different alternatives to check uh, parameters for parameters. So here I can see uh this is the top this is the bottom uh, flow rate and if you can see the mass flow rate and so it's up to you you can see the the mole flow rate of the bottom product bottom stream is 80 something you can hear the same thing the same is true that you can see that the result part uh, so you can see that the condenser uh, performance you can see it's almost uh, the same it is the same so uh, so you can check here or you can also check at the form you can check from the stream result this is up to us so this is it Finally, if you like the video, it is helpful, you may hit that like button, thumbs up button, and also you may subscribe uh, for my channel, 
Thank you. Have a good day.